Megalodon may have been capable of 20,000 pounds of bite force, a bite that has to be precisely calibrated. Although the bite seems like a simple thing, as Mike described it, it, it became apparent that it's very complex. The lower and upper jaws both have their own individual jobs that they do, and they move at different rates, and it could pose some potential problems for us in the engineering process. Now, the jaws only represent the business end of Sharkzilla. What about the massive body? As our shark needs to be transported, weight has to be a consideration. Jim and his design team hit upon an ingenious solution. We brought Adam in from Creative Inflatables to help us out in creating the body to attach to the, to the head of the shark. Yep, you heard right. Creative Inflatables will build us a body that we can blow up and will be lighter than air for transportation. What we're doing is we're putting an inflatable over a mechanical unit and we have to figure out how, how to merge those two together. We're probably gonna build the back portion from where the metal section is. Yeah. There's two separate pieces, the bottom jaw and the top of the head. So we're gonna be removing those so this way the, the jaws are exposed and it'll be able to crunch whatever uh, they put inside the, the jaws. I think the attachment part's not gonna be that difficult for us. We, we might be using what's called a, a grommet and lace technique. As the inflatable body is fabricated, the massive steel jaws are ready to be assembled. We finally received the jaws here at Technifex, and man, they look great. They're over 1,500 pounds a piece, so we're gonna use our crane to actually support them while we position and, and attach them to our mechanism. Live from his lab in Ohio, Chuck Ciampaglio oversees final assembly. So Chuck, again, what we want to do is try to figure out the angle of teeth. What we've been looking at is whether or not it should be like that or just kind of facing out a little bit so when we're about mid-stroke that we have, you know, a real good connection of the teeth with the tissue, whatever tissue. Yeah, I think the angle you have now looks pretty good. Now, the 50 cast steel teeth are welded one by one into place. So uh, we're putting the teeth in right now, getting the final weld done, so we make sure that they hold tight when we start biting on stuff. There we go. Everything's looking good so far. We're about to bring this thing to life for the first time. It's a pretty exciting moment. We've been working our tails off trying to get this thing done, and it all comes down to this moment. Hey, Charles, you ready to do this thing? I'm ready. <laughs> Two million years after they went extinct, we take a fresh bite with a megalodon. There it is, there it is, baby. I'm so happy you can't even imagine. I mean, to see this thing finally come to life, it's incredible. And, and it worked, it worked out of the box. I can't wait to bite stuff with it now. It's gonna be insane. The 25th anniversary of Shark Week starts Sunday, August 12th at nine, only on Discovery.